This is a video of how to install the new Brand X four channel external regulator. The cover will have Phillips screws in. Those are number two screws for removal. You can see the regulator here has spots to add fuel modules. The unit itself will come with one pre-installed. If you do order multiples, you'll receive a package with this inside of it and a fuse that I've already installed. Um, it has a heatsink bar here with these three set screws that hold that in place. You'll loosen that. That is also a number two screw. You'll loosen those. The pad itself, where the MOSFET is, has a thermal pad that will have uh, tape over it. You'll take the tape off, slide the pad into place. And if you can see in the video, I'm gonna have the pins lined up with each other. You'll push those pins in. And then the fuel module will come with two number one screws. And those are for actually securing the MOSFET and fuel module assembly to the heatsink. You do not need a lot of force to put these in. I do recommend assembly with blue Loctite. You'll then retighten your bar. And again, doesn't need a ton of tension. There is a spring on the center screw that actually maintains tension for you as well. So you don't have to over tighten it. Once the fuel module is installed, the amount of fuel modules that you need, of course, you'll be able to see the regulator has a, a sense terminal that'll be connected to either one of the alternators or the battery setup that you're actually charging. This is mostly for isolated charging systems to avoid uh, spiking or uh, full fielding the regulators if you accidentally connect it to the uh, wrong charging system. Your second pin here is a ground pin. That's just going to be uh, ground somewhere you're on the chassis, battery, or alternator. And you have your ignition turn on. You don't need to necessarily use an ignition source. You can use the switch if you feel so. Uh, just know that if you do that, you're gonna have to remember to turn the switch off. Obviously this will stay on then otherwise. This will have a uh, quarter inch lug that does not come with it. I recommend using eight gauge. Um, you'll be able to fit up to four on it. Um, the set screw is an eight millimeter uh, socket size. So you will need an eight millimeter socket to install that. If you'll see here, there are jumpers. One is for AGM. That'll be for your standard uh, LFP lithium or lead acid or AGM battery setup. That'll let you select from uh, the low 14s to around 14.8. Then you have LTO. That'll start you around the 15.1 to 2 range and allow you to adjust all the way up to around 15.8. Then you have your uh, CMAX. CMAX is the most popular version of NMC batteries that people use for, uh, for lithium that want to charge in the high 15s to uh, mid 16s. For fine tune adjustment, we also have a uh, set screw here on a potentiometer. That'll allow you to adjust the voltage you're looking for exactly. Uh, the fine tune is not very sensitive, so you, you do need to turn it quite a bit to get any kind of adjustment. We did that mostly for vibration resistance. That's the purpose of the jumpers. If you're familiar with wiring external regulators and with other model regulators, one of the main problems is, is the voltage fluctuation from having a knob being the adjustment for the entire setup. Uh, this eliminates that issue with the jumpers. And then obviously once you're done, once you have all of your connections connected, you'll be able to put the cover back on, put your screws back in, and then you'll be able to connect your, your field terminals to each individual alternator. If you have any questions, uh, you can go ahead and comment and I'll answer it as quickly as I can. Thank you.